Well, guys, good evening. Welcome to your English class. One more week. <laughs> good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you guys? I'm good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> That's great. I'm happy to see you again. Well, actually, I just can see Francisco. <laughs> It's the only one I can see. Ah, now I can see Ana and Patricia. Who else? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ah, now I can see Elisa. <laughs> okay, people, it's good to see you one more week. This is the week number three. And let me share with you the class presentation. So you can see the topic. The topic is describing places around the world. And this is the class number nine. So as you notice, lesson nine, the objective is in this class, participants will learn new vocabulary related to geography. And by the end of this session, participants will know how to ask and answer questions using comparisons with adjectives. So today you will learn as well as vocabulary and also comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives. Okay, so we have that. The activity one, recalling previous knowledge, describing places around the world, activity number two, the third activity, comparative and superlative adjectives, and finally, the wrap-up. Okay, so we need to first check. Check the attendance. Check who is here in the class. So please turn on your camera and say present on here when I mention your name. I'm going to start with Ana Marisol Zamora. We continue with Ana Patricia Garcia. I am here, teacher. Luana Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. I'm here. Thank you, Benja. Brenda Adriana Mendez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Brenda Isabel Castro. Present. Thank you. Brian Steve Rodas. Present. Thank you, Brian. Claudia Isa Lopez Cordova. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Claudia. Eh, Daniela Magali Asensio. 
<coughs> Daniela. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Elisa Areli López. Ok, Elisa. Elsie Patricia de Jesús. I am here, teacher. Good night. <laughs> Good evening. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present, teacher. Francisco Griselda Lizel Moreno. Griselda. Eh, Jacqueline Liliana Enríquez. Present. Janet Carolina Rivera. Sí. Janet Carolina. Not in the class. Eh, Jocelyn Natalia. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Karen Xiomara López. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yasmin. Good evening. Good evening. Karina Present teacher. Yasmin. Present. Karina. Carla Melissa Colocho. Carla? I'm here. Thank you, Carlita. Leslie Natalie Oriana. I'm here. Present. Thank you, Leslie. Lucia Elena Cepeda. Present, teacher. Thank you, Lucia. Margarita Vigaín Tobía. Martín Ernesto. Estrada, Miley Yamile Alvarenga. Present, Miss. Thank you, Miley. Michelle Díaz. Hi, teacher, present. Okay, Michelle, welcome. Roberto Carlos Cuella. Hi, teacher, present. Okay, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Roberto Eduardo dice que tiene problemas con su audio, but he's here. <ríe> ok, Roberto. Hoy Margarita. Ok. And we continue with Selma Peña. I'm here. And Victoria Leal. Victoria. Not here today. Okay. Thank you, people, for connecting on time. I appreciate your attendance to the class. Okay. So, as I told you at the beginning of the class, we are going to start with vocabulary related to geography. So, as you can see here, we have the vocabulary number from 1 to 12. And you can see a picture with letters that exemplifies uh, the vocabulary. We have the beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, and waterfall. So you're going to help me to complete, you're going to help me to complete all of these. So can you tell me what is, for example, the letters? You can start. Let, what is the letter A? Beach. Beach. Okay. Okay, what about the number two is letter? B. Letter B. Desert. Mm -hmm. Okay. The forest. C. C. Is letter C. Oh, C. this is very easy. The hill is the letter. The hill. C. Hey, G. B. D, D, D. 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 A hill is like a little mountain. A little mountain. Um, okay, island. Uh, 
F. Island. Isla. F. F. I don't see that. No, it's not a F. F Thanks. is late. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we continue. Mountain. G. G, exactly. G. G. Okay, the ocean. F. Hey. We don't see, right? So, some letters are missing. <laughs> okay, the river. The river. L. L. G. Mm. I. Is the I. Mm. Bali. Bali. Bye. The Bali. G. J. 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 Okay. Uh, you don't see the volcano. The waterfall is. Volcano. L. Exactly. The waterfall. L. L. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the picture. Let me check. Waterfall. L. Because we don't see all. <laughs> Let me check. Give me a moment, guys. I'm looking for the correct picture, but I don't know what happened. But anyway. Sorry? I need a favor. You need a favor. Okay, what happened? Eh, alguien me dijo la vez pasada cómo ponerle la arroba a, a la laptop que es Lenovo y que no, no me acuerdo y le estoy poniendo Control Q y no me acuerdo, entonces no sé quién de mis compañeros tuvo la amabilidad de, 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 de sugerirme cómo ponerla. Yes, it was Alt G R. Alt G R and Q. G G Alt. El, no, es el Al G R. Tienes que buscar Al G R Q. No, no. Alt G R Q. Yes. Oh. Pero es que esa no tiene, esa máquina, no, esa laptop no tiene GR, solo tiene control al. No, no, no recuerdo quién me dijo que sí me resultó, pero es que no me acuerdo qué fue lo que me dijo que pusiera. Maybe somewhat, Victoria is not. Eh, con alt eh, 64. Control. No, me salió un cuarto poniendo al 64. Control al más Q. Control al más Q. Vamos a ver. Me sale una A con dos puntitos arriba. Bueno. Sigamos, disculpen que estoy interrumpiendo la clase. Este, ni modo, me va a tocar con el celular, es que cuesta un poquito más ver las letras, pero gracias compañeros por ahí, pero ya vamos a averiguar cómo le hacemos. Muy amables. 
Gracias, teacher. Ok, Miley says try control alt plus Q. Control alt Q. Ok, guys, I will show you now the picture. This is the picture. <laughs> The complete picture. I don't know what happened that I didn't have the complete picture. But as you can see here, we have here the island. Now we can see the island, which is letter A. Let uh, the island. Um, <laughs> the island is the letter E. E, the letter E, e. the island, right? And we have the volcano, which is the letter K. The letter K. 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 And we have the ocean here, right? The ocean, which is the letter H. A. H. Exactly. Very nice. Um, yeah, now so this is the complete picture. <laughs> Maybe you can repeat. Uh, after me, right? The pronunciation of each of these words. The beach. 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 Desert. Desert. Forest. 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 forest hill. 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 Island. 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 You don't pronounce the S. Okay, with island, you don't say Iceland because Iceland is island. a country. It's Islandia. Iceland is a country. So, Isla in English is island. Okay? Island. island. Uh, then we have island. The Lake. Mountain. 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 You don't say mountain, it's incorrect. Same. It's like you don't pronounce the A and the I is a little bit silent. Mountain. 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 Mountain, mountain. Solo se utiliza el sonido fonético de la N. No. Al final. Mountain. 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 No. Mountain. No. Mountain. <laughs> mountain. 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 Pero también se le puede decir mountain, ¿verdad, Lick? Mountain. Porque cuando yo estaba estudiando su ¿sí? El licenciado de gramática fonética, creo que era, nos dijo de que el, eh, la palabra mountain era con el sonido británico y que algunos estadounidenses lo pronunciaban como mountain. Yeah, that's right. Ah, bueno. <laughs> I, will, I will send you, well, I will send you a link, a link, a link. YouTube right to English, he explains a lot about pronunciation. I will send you the link and you can practice after class or in your free time. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you can practice the pronunciation of mountain. Now we have ocean, river, river. Bali, Bali, volcano, volcano, and waterfall. Yeah, waterfall. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I would need you to give me examples. Examples of each of these vocabulary, but tell me a um, Places, you know, as examples. For example, the beach. You can give me examples. El Cuco Beach. Okay, <laughs> nice. We have, okay. El Cuco. El Tunco, right? 
El tubo. Los cóbanos. La costa. No. Okay. El espino. Los cóbanos. El majahual. <laughs> Very nice. We have a lot, right? We have a lot of examples because in our country we have a lot of beaches. Now, what about other countries? Beaches from other countries? Maui. Cancun. Okay, Cancun. <laughs> nice. Okay, what about examples of desert? El Sahara. Ah, very nice. Sahara. Arizona. Very nice. Sahara. Arizona. Arizona. Only those ones? <laughs> No more? No more. No more? De Arabia. Okay, Arabian Desert. Good. Okay, what about the forest? Do we have forest in El Salvador? El Imposible. Imposible. Uh, that's one of my favorite. What about el espino? El, es, el imposible, este, el de Chalatenango, teacher. El pital. El, el pital. pital. Cerro Verde. Okay. I would say that Cerro Verde is the hill. It's an example of a hill. Cerro Verde is a hill. Right? <laughs> okay. Island? La Isla Conejo. La Sahara. La Pirraya. Okay, La Pirraya. Isla El Zacatillo. Wow, interesting names. Isla Conejo. Conejo. El Zacatillo. Very nice. Lakes. Lakes. El Jocotal. Really? And where is that? El Lago de Cuatepeque. El Opango. Cuatepeque like. Laguna de Apastepeque. That is a lagoon. Lagoon. Apastepeque Lagoon. Ah, okay. Okay. Mountain. Mm -hmm. Montañona Chalatenango. Ok, cha, la montañona. El boquerón. El pital. El pital. What about ocean? Pacific. 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 Ocean. Atlantic. <laughs> Pacific and Atlantic. 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 Okay, rivers. El Sunpul. Río Lempa. Río Lempa. El Sunpul. Other Rio countries. Paz. Amazonas, right? Yeah. I think it's like it's called Miramico. Río Nilo. <laughs> the Nile River. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, va. Así se llama, pero o sea, le dieron el nombre en náhuatl y aquí la gente lo dice en español. The valley. Tenemos, tenemos valles, teacher. For example. Zapotitán. Zapotitán. Mm, great. Ah. Chalchuapa. No, Chalcuapa. Apastepeque, Tecolunca. Chalchuapa es ciudad, no es valle. A mí, me, a mí me aparece como valle. No, somos ciudad. Ok. Chalcuapa. Thank you for the information. Chalcuapa o Chalcuapa. Chal Chalcuapa. 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 Chalc
<laughs> okay, what about volcanoes? We have a lot of volcanoes, for example. Salco, Santa Ana, San Salvador, Chaparrastique. Nosotros ahorita estamos medio aquí como que nos va a erupcionar el volcán. Where do you live? El Yellowstone. Chaparrastique es el de nosotros, vea. Sí. El de San Miguel. El de San Miguel es Chaparrastique. Que por cierto, que dicen que tiene humo. No, si ahorita estamos en alerta, han suspendido clases desde la semana pasada. Ah, pues desconectate ahorita. Estamos aquí con esper esperando fuegos artificiales. No, primero Dios que no. So, so ah, el niño no se presentó hoy. Como no se fue. Pero hoy you fue Lucy. Y a Lucy se le olvida, vos estaba para el cri. Elfi, ¿where do you live? Okay, well, uh, I live in the San Miguel. You live in San Miguel, en Grisel. Yeah. Me sentí como mi universo. I live in the San Miguel. <laughs> Take me there, please. En Griselda? en Griselda, where do you live, Griselda? Hoy. Griselda Moreno. Where do you live, Griselda? <laughs> She doesn't live here. Aquí en San Salvador. You live in San Salvador. Okay. Waterfall. El Niagara Falls. Cascada San Antonio. El Salto de Nautalco. Tamanique. No tengo nada. Caldera del Diablo, ¿por qué? That is a beautiful one. Yeah, uh, the name is not good, but the one is beautiful. En Morazán, Caldera del Diablo, yeah. The name is not good. Está otra de Nahuizalco, la golondrinera. Es la misma del salto. Oh. Okay. Muy bonita. El salto que no está en Santo Domingo de Guzmán. Wow, I see you are. Hay varios. Caldera del Diablo está en Morazán. En Turis, yes, Caldera del Diablo está en Morazán. Oh. Yeah. También están los chorros de la calera aquí en Guayúa. Exactly. Very nice. Yes, We have a lot of samples. Very good, people. Thank you for giving your comments. Your participations are very appreciated. Okay, so let's continue with the next part of the class. Now you will see, guys, a conversation between Claire and Steve. They are going on a trip. They are going on a plane. And uh, they are having a conversation like a quiz or our word. So I would like the volunteers to read the conversation. Can I? I am teacher. Uh, who said I am? Elsie? Yes. Elsie? Okay, Elsie and Benjamin. Okay, go on ahead. Like, camera. Okay. This is one of the best airline magazines I ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Our world, how much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me questions. Sure. First questions. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? Mm, I know Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What the largest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Nile. All right, here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Um, really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London or Paris? 
Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Benjamin and Nancy. So they You're are asking welcome. questions. Thank you. What are some, what is the first question? Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? Exactly, which country is larger? So we are comparing two, we are comparing two countries, Mexico and Australia. Hey, another, the second question? What the longest river in the world? Okay, the longest river in the world. Are we comparing two or more? Two no. rivers or more rivers? More rivers. Oh, river. All the rivers, right? All the rivers in the world. Okay. Third question. Which country is more crowded? Malta or England? Exactly. So we are comparing? Country. Two countries. Two countries, exactly. Malta and England. And finally? Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or Paris? How many are we comparing? How many cities? Three. Three cities. Okay. Three cities. Very nice. So in this conversation, we have comparative and superlatives. Comparatives, when we compare two things, like Australia and Mexico, larger. But superlative the longest river and mm -hmm. uh, comparative more. which more. country is more it's crowded more. we are comparing only two but when we compare two or, or more we use the superlative the most expensive we'll see it in the next in the next picture okay so we have here a list of adjectives, comparatives, superlatives. With comparatives, we usually add ER to the adjective. Longer, larger, drier, bigger, more beautiful if, if the adjective is long, more beautiful, more crowded, more expensive. And we have some irregular forms like good and bad, Good is better and bad, worse. Now in superlative form, we need to use the, the article da. And we add est to the adjective. The longest, the largest, the driest, the biggest, and the humblest. And if it's a long adjective, more more syllable, two, three, or more syllables, we use the most, the most beautiful, the most crowded, the most expensive. And the irregular forms, we have the superlative form of good, the best. And the superlative form of bad, the worst. Do you want more examples? You'll see the next picture. We have here the rules. One syllable, stronger, strongest. Consonant plus short vowel plus consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. We double the last consonant, for example, B. As you can see here, we double the G. Bigger and biggest. If the adjective ends in E, we just add the R or the EST. If the adjective ends in Y, like as in happy, we change the Y for I and we add ER or EST. If it's, if it's two syllables, it could be this way, gentler, gentleless, or more gentle or more gentle, like friendly, more friendly or friendlier, friendliest or more friendly. Both ways are correct. 
three or more syllables, like in expensive, you have to add more or must. Okay, we have the irregular forms, good, better, best, little, less, and least. Okay, so maybe you can take a screenshot of this. This is important. And we'll practice in a moment. Are you ready to practice? Yes, no, maybe? Yep. <laughs> well, I guess you studied about comparative and superlative adjectives before, right? Have you? Yes. And the others besides Benjamin? Have you learned about comparative and superlatives before? Yes. Great. Okay. If you have any questions, this is the moment you can tell me. No? Okay. Easy topic for you, right? Okay. Just give me one moment. You will see here the exercise. Okay, last August was month on record. The had the hardest or the hardest month on record. Hardest. Okay, why? Is the hardest. Because we compare um, more than two uh, months. Things. No. Uh -huh. Months. Yes, we have all the months, right? We have twelve months in the year: January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. But from all the months of the year, August was the hardest. Okay, in this example, maybe in our country, maybe March is the hardest. <laughs> okay, and as you notice, with hat, we double, we have double T. Why double T? Because the word is consonant, consonant. vowel, consonant. consonant. Exactly, we have a consonant, we have a short vowel, and we have a consonant here. So. We have to double, and it's only one syllable. Hat. We double the last, the last syllable, the last. Sorry, we double the last consonant, which is T, and we add ESP, right? So last August was the hardest one on the record, but it doesn't click. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It doesn't click. My computer is crazy now. Crazy am, like me. I am clicking. <laughs> work, please, work, please. I need you to work. Barbara Bonetti. Anyways, we have to continue. <laughs> Your shoes are prettier, pretty, or prettiest than mine. Prettier. Prettier. Why? Prettier. Why? Comparative. Comparative. We are comparing. Two no. kinds of shoes. shoes. Okay, two pairs of shoes. Your shoes and my shoes, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Prettier. We know it's prettier, right? Yeah, I don't know what happened to the laptop, but it's a sleepy. He doesn't want to work. This rebel. Great. Uh, his smile had the bright, brightest, brighter teeth in the photo. Okay, what is the secret? Brightest. Smile? Brightest. Right. This is my had the brightest teeth in the photo. Okay. Yes, it's like that is the correct. 
the next one. Are you feeling happy, happier, or happiest than yesterday? Happier. 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 Nice. Okay, yes, that is the correct for happier. His score was lower, lowest, or low of the in the year. Lowest? Lowest. lowest. The lowest. The lowest. Okay. Of all the year, there was the lowest. This three is tall, tallest, or taller than the tree in your garden. Taller. 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 Taller, exactly. Yes, the taller. Edward's heart was hardest, harder, or hard and rough. Harder. Harder. Harder, right? We are comparing the heart and the rock. And the heart was harder than the rock. Sounds like a like a novel, or soap opera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pellegrina's eyes was the blacker, blackest, black than that Edward has ever seen. Blacker. The mm -hmm. blackest. Okay. Uh -huh. Black. Pellegrina's eyes was the or where actually were the blackest black that Edward has ever seen. El negro más negro que Edward pudo haber visto o ha visto. His body was colder, cold, or coldest than a fridge. Colder. Colder, exactly. We are comparing the body and the fridge. And the last one. Evian's mom was friendliest, friendlier, or friendly than Pellegrina. Friendlier. Friendlier. Was friendlier. We are comparing Evian's mom and Pellegrina. Okay. Good job. Let's go back to the topic that we are learning. And now you will see. So uh, this is a listening exercise, okay? And this listening exercise, you will listen to three people on a TV quiz show and you have to check the correct answers. Maybe you can write just the correct answer. Uh, I will send you this in the WhatsApp group so you can have it there. So pay attention to the quiz. TV quiz show. Give me a moment. Okay. So look at that picture and just write the correct answer. Okay, you will listen in a moment. Um, please let me know if you can listen. Give me a moment, just give me one moment. Which of the world's oceans is the smallest? The Southern Ocean? Is it Niagara Falls, Angel Falls, or Victoria Falls? Good. The oldest, the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower. One, contestants, evening are... Listen to three people on a TV quiz show. Guys, can you listen to the audio? 
Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Hey, okay. So are you ready? No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, you will listen and you have to check what is the correct answer, okay? Because I will ask you later. One, two, okay. three. Joe, check the correct answers. Our contestants this evening are Joshua, Rachel, and Andrew. And now, contestants, let's get right to our first question. Question number one. Which is the oldest, the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, or the Panama Canal? Joshua? I think the Statue of Liberty is the oldest. I'm pretty sure they built the Eiffel Tower and the Panama Canal later. That's correct. Question number two. What is the tallest waterfall in the world? Is it Niagara Falls, Angel Falls, or Victoria Falls? Rachel. Angel Falls is the highest. It's over 1,000 meters high. That's right. Question number three. Which is the heaviest? A pound of gold? A pound of butter? Or a pound of feathers? Andrew? They all weigh the same. Yes. Question number four. Which of the world's oceans is the smallest? The Southern Ocean? The Arctic Ocean? Or the Indian Ocean? Nobody knows? Does anybody want to guess? Joshua? Uh... The Indian Ocean is the smallest. No, sorry. Oh, shoot. Andrew. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest. Correct. <laughs> Question number five. Which city has the largest population? Seoul, Sao Paulo, or Mexico City? Rachel. Sao Paulo has the largest population. Very good. <laughs> Question number six. Which continent is the driest? Meaning, which gets the least rain? Africa, Antarctica, or Australia? Rachel. Antarctica is the driest of the three. That's right. Okay, contestants, the winner is... Page 95, oh. exercise 9. Okay, guys, so I'm going to ask you the questions and you have to tell me. Contestants, are you ready? <laughs> oh, <so> <laughs> Okay, contestants, the question number one is, which of the oldest monuments, the Eiffel Tower, the Statue of Liberty, or the Panama Canal? Statue of Liberty. of Liberty. Exactly, that's correct. Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry? Okay, next question. The tallest waterfall is Angel Falls. Angel Falls. Okay, that's incorrect. Now you're kidding. That's correct. <laughs> okay, the weight, which is the weight? Gold, a pound of gold, a pound of butter, a pound, or all of them? All of them. All of them. All of them. Yeah, all because. A pound of gold and a pound of gold, you weigh the same, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the other option was a pound of feathers, right? In the audio, it says a pound of feathers. Una libra de... Or king of sound. Plumas, right? <laughs> Which is different is the volume. Okay, the smallest ocean is... Arctic Ocean. The Arctic, the Arctic, Arctic Ocean. 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 The city with the largest population is Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo Brazil. Exactly. Sao Paulo Brazil. 
So, Paolo, yes. The driest continent? Antarctica. 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 Arctic continent. Antarctica. Antarctica. <laughs> okay, very good. I see that you can listen very well. Nice, guys. Okay, so now we have other exercises. Uh, we have some questions. Yeah. So you have to complete the questions one to four with comparative and questions five to eight with superlatives. For example, number one, which country is smaller? Smaller. 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 Which country? Smaller. Is smaller. Okay, Monaco or Vatican City? What is the answer? Vatican City. Vatican City. Vatican City. Yes. Which waterfall is? Higher. 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 Victoria Falls or Niagara Falls? Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls. Teacher. What mean crowded? Crowded with a lot of people. Um, Lots okay. of people like downtown San Salvador. Crowded. It's always crowded. <laughs> or the buses when you go. On the bus. The example. <laughs> Thank okay. you. So which city is more, more crowded. crowded? More crowded. Uh, we have Hong Kong or Cairo? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I guess it's Hong Kong. Which lake is? Here. Larger. Larger. Large. Uh -huh. Lake Michigan or Lake Baikal? I don't know. Google it. Michigan. You can you can write the the exact question in on Google. Exact. <laughs> and it's Lake Michigan. Okay, it's the largest by surface area at forty five thousand three hundred square miles. And the Baikal Lake is just a. Um, twelve, twelve thousand two hundred forty-eight. Okay, number five. We have a uh, three options: Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest, and Mount Fuji. Which is the highest? Highest. highest. The the highest. High, so when we high, compare. Yeah. We compare three or more, we use the superlative. We use the superlative form. So which is the highest? It's your homework. <laughs> okay. What is river in the Americas? The Mississippi, the Colorado, or the Amazon? Longest. Longest. Which is Long. the longest? Longest. The longest. The longest. Ever. I think we know. More expensive. More expensive. <laughs> the longest expensive. river, guys. You don't know? It's Mississippi. Mississippi. River, exactly. Uh, Okay, which city is most the expensive. most expensive? The most expensive. Most expensive. Most expensive. <laughs> okay, and we have London, Tokyo, or Moscow? Moscow. Moscow. <laughs> I think it's Tokyo. Okay, letter A, uh, sorry, number A. What is? 
the mm -hmm. deepest the most the deep deepest, deepest ocean deepest. the deepest ocean in the world right the pacific the atlantic or the arctic the atlantic i don't know Okay, they are good questions, right? We need to investigate. I think to the Pacific with this Maria. <laughs> with La Fosa de las Marias. That's right. I think uh -huh. Yeah, I think that one. Okay, guys. So as you can see, this is the, the examples for the comparative and superlative. Okay. And now I have one activity here for you. Okay, this is okay for us. We will go to the break and discuss in the time, but maybe we can do it here in the class. Using the chat, or you can open your microphone. Imagine these people are planning to visit El Salvador. What would they enjoy uh, doing? What would they enjoy doing? Agree on a recommendation for each person. Let's start with Jana. Who would like to read about Jana? Who reads Jana's opinion or likes? Who can read a volunteer? Only one. I'm going to grab it. You can visit the Shantrapa. <laughs> I just need you to read first. Oh, okay. Okay, my right. I like all kinds of outdoor activities, especially hiking and, and bike riding. I can stand crowded and polluted cities. Polluted, polluted cities. Okay. So what are, what recommendations can you give to Jana? She can come to Chalatanago city. She is not so crowded. We have no, no big populate, population. Okay. She will, she would go to the Pital. Okay, she would enjoy going to El Pital. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now let's read about Neil. Francisco? Okay, Neil, I enjoy visiting museums, trying local food, and shopping and a small store. I don't like boring tourist places. Tourist places, okay. What recommendations can you give to me? A recommendation this area, um, the uh, Lourdes, because it's uh, sir, uh, oh, yes, okay. I, 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 um, uh, archaeological sites, sites, uh, a small, um, a small <coughs> stores, and I don't look in the boring tourist place here. Okay, thank you for your idea, Francisco. Any other idea? Museum de la Moneda in Santa Ana. The museum, the museum of la moneda. Of the money in Santa Ana City. Okay. And yeah, and he can try like mm -hmm. the traditional yuca, right? Neil, can he visit the um, David uh, Museum David J. Guzman? Good. Okay. Maybe, maybe in 
And let me let me see. I don't remember the city. It's in San Salvador. Yeah, it's Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sammy, yeah. who wants to read about Sammy? Me. Okay, Margarita. I love I love nightlife. My favorite activity is going dancing and meeting new people. I really don't like a small town. Okay. Yeah. Any ideas? Recommendations for Sammy? San Salvador. The only city here is San Salvador. <laughs> Yeah, the city where or Santa Tecla, right? Where she can go dancing and meeting new people. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Paseo del Carmen, yeah. Okay. Good. The okay, pink guys. song. <laughs> Could you tell me what did you learn in this class? Adjectives. <laughs> Switch comparative. I learned about superlative. superlative and superlative. Superlative. Comparative and superlative adjectives. Okay, Michel. What? Well, uh, can you give us one example? Michel. Hmm. Or Lucy. Uh, uh, Chalchuapa is a smaller town Santa Ana. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. And with superlatives? Um, El Pital is a mountain. Um, the highest, uh, the highest, the highest, in El the highest mountain in El Salvador. Sorry, teacher, mi señal estaba fallando. Okay, Michelle. Pero también tengo un ejemplo. Okay, great. Maybe Francisco is taller than me. Francisco is older than you? Yeah. <laughs> And the teacher is older than me. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. What about the vocabulary? What vocabulary was new for you? The last activity, Miss. The geographic vocabulary is new for me. Okay, uh, for example, waterfall, waterfall, beach, volcano, volcano, mountain, mountain, mountain river, river, hill, island, lakes, island, lakes, lake, forest, forest. Great, excellent. <coughs> desert. Okay. Desert, the desert. <laughs> Good. Maybe all. <laughs> Maybe all of them. <laughs> well, thank you for connecting to the class. Your homework will be to work on the platform and also to write five examples of comparatives and five examples of superlative adjectives. That will help you a lot. Okay? Five examples of superlatives. Teacher, eh, cuando entré a la clase ya había pasado lista, no sé si me puede anotar ahí. Vaya, quédense entonces los que no dijeron. Victoria, Salas, Oja. Tenemos Ana Marisol. Present. Eh, Daniela Magali. Edgar Fernando. Present. ¿Quién dijo present? Daniela Magali. Yes. Sí. Ok, Daniela. Eh, Griselda Lisset. Present teacher. Janel Carolina. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Eh, let's see. Martín Estrada. Victoria. Yes. Thank you, Real. Yes. Ok, Martín sí no se conectó, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. Ahí está. Martín. Martín Ernesto, diga presente. 
Okay, people, you can go now. Michel. Yes, Michel? I send the homework by WhatsApp. Okay, I will. Yeah, you can send it here. Oh, and hasta la clase. No, by WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, I will write a reminder. Mm -hmm. By example, teacher. Yeah, we compare it five sentences with comparative adjectives and five sentences with superlative. Okay, that's it. Great. Have a great night, people. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Take teacher. Care. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.